Hi friends, in the previous uh, video we have seen how you had taken user input and searched a data frame and displayed the output in a uh, tree view. So you have used a inter uh, user interface and the user has used the entry box to enter its query. So that we have seen it and based on the user entry on click of the button, now we are we have displayed in that. Now we'll learn without clicking the button, say we, I am as I am typing the on the entry box, say I have typed J, then I have moved to O. So based on the what is the matching for the first J and then what matches with O as I am typing it, the automatically the data should be displayed on the tree view below. And further, can you improve it further to give a multiple word combination search? This we'll all learn. This is where we have left in our previous tutorial. So this is the code. We'll start from here. Let's just run it what you have got it in here. I can just uh, click J or O. Then I have to click the search button to get the data. Here it is. Now I can change it also. Say I only want to use single character J. Then click the search button. Then few more rows of data I got it. But every time I have to click this search button. Now what you will do will Let's close this, come down here. You, you can see that E1 is our entry box here at the top. You have seen the entry box E1. This entry box will bind to the key release event. So for that, we'll say E1 dot bind. Now here I am saying key release. So this key release event is by E1. So moment, it can be key press also, but I am using key release, comma, now my search. So and here in the my search, I have to receive all the arguments. So, so now all the arguments I am receiving. That's all these two things only. Here I have added this, then I have added this line. So now let me save this and run. Here it is. Now what will happen? Say I am giving J. You just see I have not pressed the search button. Let's for our clarity. Let's just remove that button here. Where is my button here? Though the still the button click will work. Will what you will do is will remove this button. Now let me run this again. Here it is. J. Now once I press J, this all the matching uh, records with having the J and the name column has come up. J O now o, both are whatever is there. Now let's go for one more A L. So once it is fine. So that's why it is uh, whatever matches with A L. Suppose I remove L now, use the back uh, back button. So removed L. So now wh wherever record L A, A is there, it has picked up. So that's why. Now we can further improve it by saying how many matching records are there. We can uh, count the number of uh, records and display it here. Uh, say 10 records found or 12 records found that way and another thing suppose I am giving a L these two records are picked up now suppose I am giving J O now these two records suppose here I am giving J O and a L now no more no matching now how to develop this that when I am giving two words so each word matching with each against each word the records and those two groups of records should come up. It is a or combination. We'll slowly we'll try to move towards that. That's all friends. I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, questions, ideas, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.